Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Align tool. Now, um, Align tool is used for connecting objects. So it can connect surface to surface, surface to curve, curve to surface, and also curve to curve. So let me go through some of the examples of how Align can be used. Okay, so right now we have two surfaces right here. And let's let's say you want to align this surface to this surface right there. So you'll find align under object edit, align. So all you have to do is double click. So depending on what how you want to align in, you can modify the options. So let's say I just want to align it positionally. I can just click this edge and I can click this edge and it aligns like that. And, but let's say you want to change to G1 tangent. You can align it like this. And you will see that it's smooth. But if you want to make it smoother, you can change it to G2. You will see that it's a, the transition is smoother. And if you, uh, if you want a little uh, even smoother transition, you can say G3. And it'll give you a G3 continuity between the two surfaces. Okay, hey, and you can also align surface to curve. So let's say you have a feature curve that you modified, in, and let's say you want to modify the surfaces in order to get to that curve. Uh, same thing, all you have to do is... Now, uh, you must, uh, <clears throat> it is important to know that when you're aligning a surface to curve, you can only, uh, only align it positional because a curve doesn't have any uh, surface, so you can uh, you can only do it positionally. Uh, you cannot do it tangent or curvature because it doesn't have any surface to align to. So I'm just gonna say G0. I'm gonna click on the surface and I'm gonna click on the curve, and here it is. You can align surface to curve. Next. Um, there are there might be a situation where your surface fillet is not working and you have to build it manually. That's a lot of the times you can use align to uh, align a curve to surface. So let's see. I'm just going to uh, use a tubular offset tool just to. Trim away the edge. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a curve right here, like this. Now I wanna align the curvature, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick these curves and I'm gonna change them to degree five, like this. And I'm gonna align the curve to the surface. So I'm gonna align the curve G2, like this. And here also, this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to either use by rail or square to finish uh, finish building the fillet. So I can use, uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, one, two, three, four, in order to create a square. And I'll say two curvature and four curvature. Now it is a lot of span, so I can, I'll just rebuild or do an explicit control like that. By using align, align to align a curve to the surface, I was able to manually build a fillet. So this, um, maybe this happens, uh, this is a usually a rare occasion, but there are some times where you need to build a manual fillet. So the, uh, this is something that you can do. Okay. So now you can also align curve to curve. So similar thing uh, of what I, when I aligned the curve to surface. So let's say you want to, you, let's say you have a sheet uh, for the glass and you just want to trim it. However, let's, uh, but you need a curve to actually, you know, mimic this uh, fillet or the transition. So what you can do is you can just extend these curves back like this. And same thing, you can just create a curve connecting here to here. 
change that to degree five to make it curvature and I'll align it G2 this I'll just align the curve to curve and now you have a pretty smooth transition that you know uh, follows the canvas well uh, well depending on how you create it you might want to adjust it a little bit but because we have history on the curve uh, on the align tool we are able to modify this curve and and the curve the transition curve is updated automatically and that's the align tool okay so that concludes this lesson thank you guys for watching